Hello? Oh, Udo, how are you? Yeah, fine. Thank you very much. Everything good? Oh, great. Now, um, are you at home in Germany at the moment? Yes, I'm in Germany at the moment, getting ready to come over to Australia. Now, first time in Australia. It must be very exciting. Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, you know, let's say we tried many, many times, you know, come over to Australia, but it was never happened. And now I'm really looking forward to come to Australia for the first time, you know. So here we go. Well, we cannot wait to have you here. And, and looking at all your sold out VIPs, I think the fans are really excited as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, hopefully, I mean, a lot of people are coming and uh, yeah. I mean, okay, it's not UDO, we are coming under Dirk Schneider, play only accept songs, but that was the wish of the promoter, you know. Oh, the first time they want to hear the original voice. So I said, okay, I have no problems with that. I mean, I did this also for over three years in, 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 in Europe. So, yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward, and I think the people can expect a really good set list. Well, you know, the beauty of that, Udo, is that Next time you can come and do the UDO songs. <laughs> that will be, I, I hope, I mean, after these two shows that we can open the market a little bit in Australia for us, you know, and then maybe we can do more shows and then definitely there will be also some UDO stuff coming up. Yeah, look, it's just hard to believe 50, 50 years doing this and we're just getting you to Australia now. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm waiting a long time for this. <laughs> so that's why... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm really looking forward, you know. So, and uh, yeah, we will see. I think um, that will be a great show happen. Now, did you ever think, looking back when you started, you were 16 years old, this teenage boy, did you ever envisage that at 70 you'd still be doing this? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, you know, sometimes I sit at home and think, wow. I mean, you know, that was in a, a dream came true that you become a professional musician, but I didn't expect that I'm still now I'm getting 71, you know. I mean, this is like still in this business, doing yeah, quite well, you can say, you know, it's still a success for us. And yeah, I mean, I'm really happy. Um, so and I'm really I think I'm also really lucky with my voice. My voice is still working, you know, and uh, I mean, that, uh, and the most important thing is still, I have fun to do it. That's the most important thing. Oh, Thank look, you. yeah, absolutely. Um, you really did open that genre up in Germany because before, except there was really only scorpions and, and nothing else. So you really were sort of breaking a lot of new ground. Yeah, I mean, definitely at this time in the 80s, that was the uh, scorpions was open up for us, a lot of, lot of international stuff. And then except became, let's say, quite successful, and there were two bands in Germany, Scorpions and Accept, you know. And uh, what I found out later, but uh, so we was inspiring so many people, you know, musicians, I mean, like, especially German bands, also bands now, well-known bands like Metallica, Motley Crue, and all that stuff, you know, they're really like, like wow. And um, yeah, so that it's uh, an interesting thing, you know, that we was that we did something that was inspired a lot of musicians, you know, and that made, in a way you can say, make you proud that you did something in this business. Oh, look, absolutely. And then obviously in the future, we saw you out on tour with Motley Crue and Kiss and Iron Maiden, Ozzy Osbourne, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, with so many bands, you know, I mean, with Judy O, I was also on tour with Guns N' Roses, I mean, with nearly everybody, the only two bands I was not on tour, but we were playing once with ACDC on a festival, and I never played together with Metallica, you know. But the rest, nearly everybody, you know, that's uh, the great thing. And and you're not over yet. You never know. You might tick those off still. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Now, you've got um, Peter Boltis coming along with you. Now, obviously, yes. for people who don't know, he was in, except for 42 years, bass player, co-writer. Um, it must be wonderful to, to be hooking up again and, and playing together. Yeah, I mean, he was helping us out on our European tour in South America. So our original bass player, Thielen, he had a serious uh, health problem. He was uh, collapsed uh, collapse in, in Munich on the show, you know. And, oh, gosh. Uh, 
And then, I mean, yeah, for us it was like, so what can we do? Stop the tour or try to get a, a bass player? So, I mean, I was always in contact with Peter. I mean, I did together with him uh, a, 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 a classic album with the German Air Army Force. We did Dirk Schneider and the Old Gang. So I was in contact with Peter. Then I called him and said, Peter, I have a problem, a serious problem. <laughs> I need a bass player. <laughs> And maybe can you uh, can you help us out? And then he said, yeah, okay, give me one day. And then he said, yes, I do this. And uh, I mean, it was a lot of work for him, you know, to do all these UDO songs, you know. And uh, yeah, so, and then he said, yeah, I help you out as long. You're looking for a new bass player, but we will see. I got the feeling that he wants to join the band, you know, and he had so much fun and he said, wow, this is great, you know, I, I had so much fun with this band, it's really nice. We will see. So I'm happy that he is now with us, uh, also in Australia, you know, I mean, Peter is a great bass player for me, one of, one of the best in heavy metal, you know, and he's a legend. And uh, of course, I was working with him a very long time long together. Time, yeah. and, yeah, he's a good singer, he's a good songwriter. Maybe we will see what the future will bring, you know. So you never know. Yeah, and look, I think for us over here in Australia, to get two members of Except playing the songs is even better. So it's wonderful. Yeah, and it's, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to say anything wrong, but I think now we are more Except than Except it's at the moment, you know. There's only one left, that's Wolf Hoffman. And uh, um so uh, interesting, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> now we've got your son Sven playing the drums. That must be fantastic. He's been in been with you for a while now, hasn't he? Yeah, he joined the band in two thousand fifteen. That means he's already eight years in the band, and uh, yeah, he is a great drummer. I mean, and also I didn't expect to have my son on the drums, you know. <laughs> But yeah, there was also, I mean, uh, when I was looking for a new drummer and um, my son was helping out uh, Saxon, he was doing the drums for Saxon, but the, the, the original drummer was uh, also ill, had serious problems. And then I was in Berlin for promotion and then of course I was uh, going to the sound shack with Saxon and then I was talking with Biff, uh, and I said, well, Biff, I had to look for a new drummer, you know, this is not, not so easy. He said, yeah, well, why not? It's quite easy. Take your son. He's a really good drummer. <laughs> and I said, are you sure? Yeah. He said, come on, we are doing nearly the same uh, kind of music. And he said, that works. So and then I was asking my son, what do you think to be the drummer in uh, UDO? And she said, yeah, give me a while. I have to think about this. And in the end, you said, okay, I do it. And so, I mean, I'm really happy. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting that the people, a lot of people say, well, with the, together with the son, is that not a problem? I said, I always say, no, I mean, it's more like a friendship, you know, it's not like father and son, it's more like a friendship. And in the meanwhile, he became a really important member for me, you know, I do now the lyrics with him together, we're creating melodies together. He's doing a lot of other stuff, you know, and I'm really happy to have him in advance. Oh, wonder you. I, I've got a son that's a drummer, but I can't imagine getting up and singing with him anytime soon. I'll just leave that to you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, when are you getting in? Are you having a little bit of time in Australia before the shows or are you just coming straight in to do the shows and going again? Now we do, uh, well, before we come to, when we come into Sydney, we have a one-day rehearsal, so uh, that we make everything right. Then we do the Sydney show, and then we have a little bit of sightseeing in Sydney. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, and then we fly to Melbourne, and uh, after Melbourne, we fly directly to Japan. We have to do some shows in, in, in Japan. So, I mean, um, in a way, it's a little bit of sightseeing, a little bit, you know, see what's going on. And, yeah, I hope a lot of people come to the shows. And, uh, yeah, definitely they will see they will see, uh, they will see a great show. Yeah. Oh, well, look, it's, it's a shame you can't have a little bit more time here. But like I said, we've opened that door now and UDO may come back, you know, sometime in the future anyway. <laughs> Yeah, if we let's say that that's why uh, I mean I hope we can open up the mark the market for us in Australia, you know, doing some more shows and then definitely they're coming over or definitely at UDO, 
And uh, yeah, you, man, you never know, but maybe also on the UDO shows, we did this also in Europe. We played two or three exceptions of four chords, the classic balls, metal hard, fat as a shot, princess, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, but I think it's also, well, it will be also good to come over as UDO, you know. I mean, I have, I don't know, I can not, not really count it, 17 or 18 albums out with UDO, you know. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of, lot of, lot of material. And uh, so we just finished with a new album, you know, so, and uh, yeah, it's coming out in August and uh, yeah, so I mean, what can I say? Hopefully we can open up the market a little bit and then come again and do more shows in Australia. Yeah, look, I was looking at the albums and it's really one a year, bang, bang, bang. You're putting out so much music. It's incredible. Yeah, let's say every, let's say in a way, every two years a new album is coming out. I mean, we are, let's say we are working bands, you know. I mean, uh, we have also always like, thank God, we have a lot of, always enough ideas to do a new album, you know. And uh, yeah, so why not? And um, yeah, we will see what's up coming up with the next album. And um, yeah, so keep going on. Good. Now, with all those albums comes a lot of lyrics. How are you remembering all these things? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a secret. I mean, also I'm using, I mean, uh, also a teleprompter, you know. But yeah. sometimes, you know, we are changing, we are changing, uh, 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 um, we are changing songs during the tour, you know. So that means I don't need it really, but it's it's that for to save everything. Hello? Yeah, are you there? I think Hello? I lost, oh, there we go. I thought I lost you for a second. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm, uh, yeah, but, but also the lyrics, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm using also a, a teleprompter, but it's not a secret anymore. A lot of bands do, yeah. What, what we are doing is, you know, sometimes we're changing some songs, you know, and then you cannot keep all the lyrics in your, in, in, in your hair. But with except uh, songs, I think maybe after one show or two two shows, I don't I don't need a, a teleprompter. I mean, I know the songs. You can wake me up and say, "Okay, hello." <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is this is easy, you know. But uh, with with UDO, it's sometimes you know. Then they say, "Oh no, come on, let's play this song. Let's play this song." And then it's like, uh, 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 "Okay, <laughs> here we go." But it's just it's, it's just a thing. Uh, for safety, you know, that sometimes you have to just to look on this, aha, uh-huh, okay, thank you very much, but you don't look constantly yeah. on this teleprompter, you know, definitely not. <laughs> it's just uh, for, for, uh, for safety. Yeah, for sure. Now, you're playing a lot of festivals as well as some smaller shows. Do you have a preference to, to the intimate shows or the bigger festivals? Yeah, I mean, uh, last year we did also, we did uh, on Wacken, we did a Dirt Netter show, and that uh, was <clears throat> Fantastic, unbelievable. And uh, so in this year, we're doing some festivals under UDO, some festivals under Dirk Schneider. You know, this is like the people, uh, some yeah, some guys, some festival guys, they're coming out and say, ah, is it not possible, you know, having the, that the people can uh, hear all this except stuff uh, with the original voice, that's always the, the answer. And the original voice is that, yeah, okay, no problem. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, let's say it's a good thing for me, you know. I mean, I can do the O, and I can do also like uh, Dirk Schneider and play just accept them. So, but anyway, now with Peter Walton together, it's like um, the half of accept, you know, in a way. <laughs> and, and and still I work with all with the old uh, drummer of accept, with Stefan Kaufmann, you know. He's doing always my vocals in the studio. So he's also in the back, you know, at, in the studio. So that means in a way we have now we are working with three members of, of except, you know. So I mean so that for me that this is no problem, you know. I mean, so yeah, but in, in on on the other hand, I always say give the people what they want. For sure. That's why that's why we are doing this, you know. I mean, I had a uh, just a, a quick uh, thing. I mean, I was always talking with uh, Ronnie James Dio about it, you know, and he said, oh, I'm so tired, you know, played all these old songs, but he said, what can you do? Maybe play two songs of a new album, and then the people want to hear all the classic stuff, you know, and that's the thing. We entertain the people and give the people what they want. That's the thing. Or can you imagine Deep Purple without smoke on the water? No. No. 
yeah. <laughs> the thing, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I mean, it, it's it's nice to see, you know, if you do something on stage and the people who enjoy that, you get a smile on the face, you know, that you're like, yes. So what do you want more? I mean, that's why we are doing this, you know, enjoy yeah. and, and entertain people. So when we see you in Melbourne next week, we will expect balls to the wall. Oh yeah, definitely. That will be on yeah. I think that will be on the set list. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Definitely. Now your album, um, My Way, which was yes. a compilation of covers, you had Tina Turner, um, you know, Nutbush City Limits and Frank Sinatra's My Way. Were the the song choices on their songs that you loved, or how did you go about picking those? For a quick story about this cover album, you know, I mean, uh, I was in the studio and uh, we did something, was working on something, and then we was, I said, oh, come on, let, let's do this song, you know. And then they, they, the producer said, whoa, the songs are quite quite good. And then they, they said to me, oh, can you maybe imagine to do a cover album? I said, oh, come on, guys, a cover album, you know. So, and then they said, yeah, make a list, uh, maybe which songs uh, you like. And then I was making up a list. And all the songs that I did on this cover album, My Way, uh, uh, all the songs, you know, I like when I was listening to music, you know. It was not inspired me. That was like, I liked this song. So, and then we started working on it. And then the most important thing for me was on this album, um, that I can put my own character on this, voice-wise, you know. I mean, I think it makes no sense to cover uh, Cloud Miner or whatever. <laughs> you know, that makes no sense. And, uh, yeah, and I think um, the, <laughs> I was really surprised, you know, when the album came out and everybody said, wow, this is really great, you know. And also it get number four in Germany in, a, in an album chart. It was like, okay, it looked like you did something right. <laughs> and uh, then now, of course, a lot of people coming up and said, oh, when you do a next one, I said, hey, uh, um, <laughs> that, was, that was one thing, you know. And uh, yeah, also on this album, I did uh, for the first time ever a song in, in my own mother language, you know, and in, was singing in German. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm really happy with this album and it looked like that it works for the people. And uh, yeah, so that was something... During the Corona thing, you know, yeah. <laughs> was nothing to do. And it was also like, okay, I have some work to do, you know. And so the record company said, yeah, the sound is great. So we had no problem to uh, to put it out. So that was the story of the cover album, you know. Yeah. Now, speaking of singing in German, you've always used English with except. Was it ever a thought to actually sing in German from the start or was it always going to be English? No, we was always going to English. You know, the thing was like when we start all all the things with except like, it, it become international, and you cannot sing. Okay, now we have Rammstein, the thing only German, but yeah. that's a diff that's a completely different story. But when we start uh, at the time, uh, that was English. You know, the, what, if you want to be international, you have to sing in English. So and that was, I mean, <laughs> it's also a story. I thought, okay, now do a song uh, uh, in 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 my mother language, and that was the most, uh, let's say, hardest work in a studio to sing in your mother language. You know, it's not so easy to sing in German. You know, it's like completely different story. That, but it was an interesting lesson. Yeah, very interesting. Well, we're really mm -hmm. glad that you're singing English. It's great for us over here. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah of it course. works. <laughs> okay. Look, thank you so much for your time today, Uta. We cannot wait to Welcome. see you next week. I will be oh. there front row and I will give you a little wave and say hello. Okay. Hello, everybody. And hopefully a lot of people come to the show. You will see a great show and uh, looking forward to this. Great. Thank you so much. We'll see you in a week. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.